want to take a few seconds at the beginning of this video to let you know that all of our SHOT Show interviews will not be posted on YouTube. They will be posted on Patreon in January. Uh, we will have the top 10 list, but all the interviews will not be on YouTube. They will be on Patreon, and that link is below. wanted to take this opportunity to really kind of pose the question, how do you open carry? Now obviously we have the constitutional right to open carry. The problem I'm running into is from Missouri we have constitutional carry and I also have a permit to carry so really I can carry anywhere anyhow I want in Missouri. When I go visit my relatives on the west coast it, they have laws in Oregon and Washington that essentially say uh, they don't recognize my concealed carry permit so I can't conceal carry. But I can't open carry. Now then there's a law that also says that you can open carry but it has to be in such a way that it doesn't freak people out. And there's where I'm running into a problem. So obviously there's a lot of people that are very okay with open carrying AR-15s. I can guarantee you 100% if I walk down uh, the streets of Portland carrying an AR-15, I'm for sure going to jail. Uh, even though it's my constitutional right, that's not going to happen. So what does that mean to not freak people out? Um, they gave an example of a case where a guy was arrested for carrying an AK-47 over his shoulder, so obviously that is not allowed. So the question is, how in the world do you open carry and not freak people out in such an incredibly anti-gun region of the country? So I really wanted to throw that out at you. Um, you know, obviously I can have a holstered uh, firearm, but I'm not really sure if that's not going to freak people out. Uh, I, you know, again, if I could walk down some legal paths and hire attorneys and bail myself out of jail, but I really don't even want to go there at all. I'd like to be able to carry a gun throughout Oregon and Washington and not worry at all. So I wanted to pose the question, how do you recommend I carry? Had a couple thoughts. One, I kind of figured if I had a Western gun, that might not freak people out. Also, I love carrying a North American Arms revolver. They make those belt buckles. I thought about that. So if you've had any experience with this, those are just kind of the ideas I have so far. Chances are, if I'm carrying like a Glock 17, people are going to freak out. And I, I hate to say that, but I, it's a very gray law that is very unconstitutional first and foremost. But secondly, it's just a very gray law to say, well, you can open carry as long as it doesn't freak people out. There's people who freak out regardless of the gun. You can have a plastic toy gun and it'll freak people out. So wanted to throw that question out there. Love to hear comments on it. Please put them below. The only ideas I've came up with is some sort of Western style revolver or carrying a North American arms in a belt buckle because people won't actually see it, but they will see it. So it's not concealed, but it kind of is. Love to hear your thoughts on this. Put them in the comments below because again, this is something that I'm really struggling with because I visit my relatives a lot. And I don't like wandering around the West Coast without a firearm. And I definitely don't want to do it illegal. By the way, at SHOT Show in Las Vegas, it's the same thing. I can't, they don't recognize my concealed carry permit in Nevada, but I can open carry. So what kind of gun am I supposed to walk through casinos with? It's just something that I'm sure I'm not the only person running into this issue. I would love to hear your comments and we'll do a follow-up video on this to see what it is we end up resolving, how we resolve this issue. So kind of a hot mess, but thank God I don't live on the West Coast, that's for sure. So put your comments below. I definitely want to hear what it is you have to say about this. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support our channel through Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.